So let's start out with talk about the tropics. What's happening here? Very important to keep an eye on the tropics this time of the year, especially this year, because we have activity that's way ahead of schedule where it's happening and in the amount of activity that's occurring. We do have a little disturbed weather in the Northwest Caribbean Sea, but the probabilities of development kind of low. It's going to be interacting with the Yucatan may briefly form into something in the Bay of Campeche before it pushes in over Mexico. Then we've got this, which is tropical pressure number two, and then behind that, another wave that we will watch for the possibility of development. New tropical depression on the board, likely going to become a tropical storm, possibly tonight or tomorrow, and the official track brings it westward. We've got another wave which could develop, but that's yellow. That is a low probability wave right now. Some of the models do develop it, and then we've got this thing, which is going to move into the Bay of Campeche briefly. Let's talk about TD2. Winds at 35, it's moving west at 17, so it's flying across the Atlantic, and eventually it'll make it towards the Windward Islands. The National Hurricane Center track has it as a hurricane in the Caribbean Sea, and we'll just have to monitor that as it moves across the Caribbean Sea. By Tuesday, we have it south of Haiti in the Dominican Republic, and by Wednesday, we have it near Jamaica or Cuba. And so if we look at this in graphical form, there goes wave number one crossing the Yucatan on Saturday. Here comes tropical depression number two on the far right hand side of your screen. And we'll run this thing all the way into Tuesday of next week. And there goes that little feature over into Mexico. And then here comes TD number two, which may be a hurricane in the Caribbean. And there is another low behind it, which could develop, which is that other feature we're watching. So, you know, when we watch the tropics in August and September, we can see See the systems just lined up out there and we may have that happening way ahead of schedule as we head into the month of July. In the meantime, locally, a lot of moisture showers and thunderstorms are possible tonight. We saw that some last night. We may get that again tonight. And then looking at our situation through Saturday, uh, scattered showers and storms again tomorrow. Pretty good chance of rain. You'll be battling rain at times, but it may be clear at times also. Our five day forecast shows rain chances at about 60% on Saturday and Sunday and Monday. A little drier next week and plenty of heat as we get up into the mid 90s at times and time for 4th of July and we'll watch the tropics even though nothing is threatening us right now. We will have some changes ahead in your forecast.